Hey guys, Chevy 1000 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change battery in a 2005 Chrysler Sebring. Stay tuned. What we have here is a 2005 Chrysler Sebring convertible, but pretty much all these Sebrings are like in these uh, certain years. <clears throat> As you can see up here, there's no battery. Okay, I got these on here because this is where you would jump start it if you had to jump start your vehicle. You would put your positive cable here and your negative cable up here. So I was trying to charge it, I'm not getting anything, so we bought a new battery. The battery is down here it's up behind this wheel so what we're going to do so we're going to pull this wheel off and the inner fender out of the battery is right up in there and I'm going to show you how to do that I already have it jacked up so uh, let's get started shall we first thing like I said I'm going to change the wheel you can fast forward this but I'm going to go ahead and pull this wheel off of here My gun needs a little oil, but okay. Go ahead and yank your wheel off. Get it jacked up nice and solid. Shake the, shake the car, make sure it's not going to go anywhere. What you're going to want to do, just to give you a little more room, is turn this wheel all the way to the left. I'm going to do that now. So, well, i got to get the key, which is in the trunk. So, let's turn the wheel all the way to the left. There we go. Just gives you a little bit more room. Now, down here, let's see if I can get you up in here a little closer, guys. Sorry about the sun. Okay. Um, let's bring you down here with me. Last week, I did a video and I want to put it all together and every time it goes together but every time I go to save it uh, the computer shuts off so I don't know if it's what I'm using or what but down in here you want to find right here and right here is two screws they are what are they I don't have my glasses on seven millimeter you can also use a nine thirty seconds will fit these two little screws here okay now let's take these out it's hot already i've been up i was supposed to work today but ended up i didn't have to she's at work now and she wasn't supposed to so i kind of got switched but <laughs> two different jobs good figure but anyway uh I don't know why, but I got up at like 5.30. Now, there's some clips up in here. What you're gonna to wanna to do, I know you can't see this one, but I'm gonna show you. It never fails every freaking time I start a video. I've been out here for over an hour messing around getting prepared. Not one car went past. Okay, so, okay, these clips, you just take a screwdriver, pop that wheel out of there and then you just get a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it out this is what it looks like looks like one of those so that pops in and it pushes these out and that's what holds it in and then you take your screwdriver and you pop that out you know when the center you pop that out like that and then it'll just pull out gotta remove them so there is, shoot, there it is. Be careful because they will come apart and you'll lose a piece and I mean, it's no big deal, but you don't want to lose stuff. Slip them up there. 
there's what, one, two, three, four, five, looks like six of them. So let's get these out of here. I'm gonna just do this in one continuous shot. So you can fast forward if you have to. Let me get a different pair of pliers here. Hmm, where are my pliers? you got something you know you go to a store or anything like that nowadays you get out of the store usually by the time you get out or while you're still in there you get this little message on your phone rate your visit at so-and-so well today well just a little while ago I went to advance auto get a battery a couple other things I needed and uh, I get home, and, and I get a message on my phone, rate your visit at Advance Auto. Seems legit, right? Everybody gets those. You know, it doesn't sound strange, does it? Well, here's the kicker, guys. Now, the store's only right up the street from us. I didn't take my phone. Didn't need it for anything. Only gone a few minutes, right? My phone was in here at the house in the bedroom. So, it didn't pick up my phone, couldn't it? Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Well, your phone number on the receipt. Well, like I said, I didn't bring my phone. We used her phone number. I know what you're thinking. You guys are on the same plan. We don't have a family plan. We got two different carriers, two different companies. So, I would like to know how they knew I was at Advance Auto. Just a little food for thought there, or whatever, food for thought, whatever you want to call it. Something to think about. You know, I mean, my phone was a mile and a half away. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, there is one more screw right there, it looks like. Yes. So we got three screws here. And I think one more push pin here. take this out just like that and right up under here let's see if you can see that there's the battery guys and I didn't bring all my tools out there you go there's the battery right there there's your positive cable and your negative cable uh, looks like this battery's been changed because this should have a cap on it Okay, and these look like 13 millimeters. Okay, let me get some tools. These are probably an eight, an eight millimeter or five sixteenths. So let me go get something. Um, but anyway, so I, I just found that a little disturbing. I mean, if you guys know a legit way, don't make up stuff and go, well, you're just being, you know, no, I'm not being anything. I, I don't like that. I don't understand I just I, I don't get it I, I just don't get it but okay get this and I'm thinking that may be a 13 millimeter let's get out of 13 here and let's see what is this one I left my glasses out here at the car. Yeah, it's 13. Yeah, these are 13 millimeters here. Um, check this. 
oops, yeah, these are an eight millimeter. And I'm gonna tell you something about this as well. What is that? One of my wrenches I've been missing. <clears throat> Great. Okay. Um, now those. I'm a little quarter inch ratchet. Right here. No. Quarter inch socket. Quarter inch ratchet. Right here. Alright. Now what I'm gonna do here guys. Now like I said, normally these have a cap on them. Everybody says just be careful, don't hit nothing on that positive. Doesn't matter. If you're using a ratchet that doesn't have any rubber on the handle and you hit something, there's a little bit of, if there's a little bit of juice left in here, it's gonna arc a spark. Now this, you can touch it wherever you want because it, it's a ground. So it doesn't matter. So you always wanna take your ground, your ground cable off first, okay? Just kinda move it up here out of the way. You can't lose it, it'll hang there or whatnot. Now you can take this off and if you touch something that's not grounded, you're not grounding yourself out. And that's very important, especially putting it back in with a new battery because it's going to be hot. And they will sometimes uh, explode. I've seen it happen. I've never blew one up. I tried for an experiment one time, but I couldn't get it to blow up. Uh, but actually like weld your wrench to your fender and burn your battery up. Either way it's 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 fairly expensive mistake. So let's take this off here. One of my antique ratchets I bought off the guy down the street. Sets up down there. Like a mobile flea market type deal. But well, he goes to flea markets as well but he don't, uh, he don't give too many deals, man. He won't work with you very much. Well, I got this much in it. Well, then you overpaid for resale, you know? Why are you gonna make me overpay? That's how I got that gumball machine. So he was like, well, that's true. I mean, watch what you're paying, you know? I mean, that's your straight. Well, I got this much in it. <laughs> I don't care, this is what I'm gonna pay you for. If you don't wanna sell it, then that's fine. No hard feelings, but I hate when people do that. They'll buy something brand new five years later, well, I gave 400 for it when it was new, so it should be worth 300 right now. Not necessarily. <laughs> no. Okay, so now, we take this off. This just goes right up in here. Set that aside. Now we'll slide this battery out of here. Now, some of these guys will have like a, like a rubber thing with a couple little springs here all, as well. You just unhook them springs, hook them back up. <clears throat> this one does not have it. So there's the battery. It's a good battery. It's an interstate. And they didn't pop the ear out on it. So I couldn't tell you how long this battery's been in here. But let's get our new one. I got to take that one back, by the way. They will charge you core charge. I think this one's like 20 some bucks. Core charge. Let's just put this new one up in here. It's got a cheap one, just an autograph silver. I don't like them, I like interstates, but uh, you know this, I mean it was 150 bucks, you know, whatever. It's like, because I don't know if I'm gonna have to be putting an engine in this or not, which if I do, that'll be a weekend project and I will bring you guys along with me on that journey if need be, because making some engine noises, I really don't like to hear. It's not a knock, it's all upper end, top end. Uh, lifters, things like that. The head problem, I did get it straightened out. But now it's like lifter issues and things of that nature. Now get this back in here. Uh, yeah, 
so I do have power tools, guys, but something like this, I I don't I don't want to use power tools on. I mean, it's so simple. It's not you know, it's not that tight. You don't have to, but it's quicker. Well, I'm not in that big of a hurry, and you shouldn't be either when you're doing something like this. I've seen guys use power tools on these. You don't want to do that. Some things power tools are good for, and some you just I just do it the old-fashioned way, the way your grandpappy taught you. There's still guys doing that on trailers. Uh, you know, I work on trailers at work, and this guy comes in. Every trailer he's got, they've got what you call easy lube spindles. It's got a grease zert on the end of the spindle. And you grease your bearings, your wheel bearings that way, and you just grease it until you see your grease come out. Or if you're repacking, just keep squirting grease in until, until your clean grease comes out. It doesn't matter. His grandpappy taught him it's always best to hand pack them, and that's what he wants. And it takes a lot longer because he's got bigger, big trailers. Um, but that's what he wants. That's what he pays for. And that's what I give him. You know, that's that's his prerogative, and he trusts us to do it. So I do it. Yes, it's a pain, and no, it does not get it just as good, no matter how long you sit and do it. it it's, you know, but the, but that's what he likes, and that's what I do for him, so. That's one of them things. Be honest with your, with your customers, you know. All right, see? Oh, and yeah, putting it back, just go back opposite, you know. You take this one off last, then, or, this one off last and you put it on first. Now you can put your, uh, your negative cable on. Looking like I, if I change the engine, I'll put new cables on this thing. And these don't have to be super dynamo up and tight. If you got a long ratchet on here, you know, like a regular size ratchet, don't get on the end of it and launch on it. Just, you know, grab it up here by the head. Give it a nice little snug on both of them. And you should be good. Let's see if we got any headlights, guys. Okay, we got bonging. So, we know we got juice. Yes, we have headlights. nothing from the starter so we'll have to check that out so there you go that's how you change it and then all you do is you put your inner fender well back in i'm going to bore you with that it's the opposite steps and put your wheel back on you should be good to go so guys there's another little video for you thanks for watching uh stay tuned like, like i said i got another one i got to put up i made last weekend uh i think it's a flea market find video yeah i think it is um, so, okay guys, thanks for watching. There's how you change your battery in a Chrysler Sebring. Not too difficult. So, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have fun. And remember, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye guys. Take care now.